Welcome to the program, Ksenia Daniela Karlamova. Hi. <laughs> Hi, how's it going? Good, how are you? Doing pretty good, doing pretty good. So I actually, I got to meet you back at Fan Expo this past year in August. We did a quick interview. With yes. You guys. Yeah, and uh, at that, got to learn all about Much Millerson. But for people who haven't had a chance yet to check out the series, what's this new Robin Hood all about? Um, it's, uh, it's the reimagined tale of, you know, the classic that we all know, Robin Hood. Um, it's just, uh, just a more modern take on it. So, you know, the characters that you love are still there. Robin, LJ, Maid Marian, um, you know, John Prince, all these, all these characters are still there. It's just, uh, it's just an updated version. Yeah, yeah. It's very much uh, in modern times and as opposed to back in jolly old England, uh, it's instead it's on a street that people can recognize in their own lives. Totally. Now with it, you play much Millerson, who's kind of like the gearhead of the hood. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So what do you like most about playing much? Um, well, I think she's very similar to me in the fact that, you know, we're very headstrong, uh, fairly opinionated people. But it was also very interesting because she, in a lot of ways, she's also very much not like me. And uh, in my day-to-day -day life, I'm fairly more feminine than, I, than the character that I portray. Um, and it was also interesting just playing a character who's like a gearhead because, like, I don't drive. <laughs> 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 so, you know, it was interesting to, like, you know, be in a mechanic shop and, like, you know, I, I did actually learn, like, a few, like, what some tools w were for and stuff like that, which was which was really interesting. You know, it, it's interesting you say that because I've heard other actors, like, who are on Star Trek or, like, some other, like, sci-fi thing where they talk about the gobbledygook words that they have to kind of speak <laughs> here. Like, you know, for, like you said, you don't drive, you you don't really know much about uh, yeah. mechanics, right? Like, so did was it was that a tough thing for you? Like, uh, you know, anytime you're doing something, like to kind of like, you know, did you have somebody that you could work with to learn, like, to kind of like mimic how, uh, you know, that would actually take place? Yeah. So, um, thankfully, we have like builders on set and stuff like that who are not, they're not mechanics, but they do work a lot with, you know, you know tools that you wouldn't regularly see and like right. stuff like that so yeah a couple times they saw stuff on the monitor and they would come and correct because i had a very big thing where i was like i don't want to look i don't want to do something wrong like if i'm playing right. an authentic character i want to authentically look like i'm doing it like i don't want to look like you know you're supposed to twist it this way and i'm twisting it the other way like i, I would rather do it properly because like if i'm watching something like i'm a very big like sci-fi nerd buff you know and so is my dad and like whenever we see stuff that's like not correct we always notice it so you know i i always tried to like if there was someone i could ask like how to properly do it i always would but you know there might be a couple scenes here and there where if you look close enough i would be doing something wrong <laughs> oh weird. well you know like much much comes off as a badass in this you know i like i like how you give her like a deeper timber as well the way she talks and it was very like you know guttural but with uh with those scenes like doing this character is it ever like oh man i kind of want to learn how to drive because like of course you wouldn't get to do it on the show it'd always be a stunt person but when <laughs> but when much his character gets to do the getaway on that motorbike and have yeah. the and everything it's like that's like really cool like i can't drive either and i sat there going <laughs> man i wish i could drive like that you know <laughs> no i know definitely like i remember people around set called me spongebob because like i don't have my driver's license <laughs> Um, which is like a valid criticism. Like I'm 20 years old, I should probably have my driver's license. But like, yeah, it definitely did make me want to learn how to drive. I remember like the stunt coordinator, uh, Angelica, great woman. She was like, you know, one of these days I'm going to teach you how to drive. Because like, <laughs> cause she knows how to do all the cool tricks and stuff. Like she has her motorcycle license or, you know, a bunch of different licenses. And she knows how to do all the cool stuff that you see like Fast and Furious. And I was like, you know, I might have to, I might have to take you up on that. You might have to give me a private lesson, you know, because like, it, I mean, come on, like who would not want to know how to ride a motorcycle? Well, oh. not only that, but the fact that you could potentially learn from a stunt person, that is awesome because oh. <laughs> they, they are going to know how to do some stuff that may or may not be good to do in the real world, but still like fun. May or may not be legal, you know. No, like, I didn't say that. I just... <laughs> 
I'm just saying, you know, like if you go down the street and you put your car on two wheels, maybe people won't look at that that good, but it'll be fun. It'll be fun as hell. I know. <laughs> Especially if you have people in the back seat as you're doing. I just don't think about it. you're like you don't tell anybody to you just go. <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> but so so you know obviously like living in a city like you know like andrew himself right like i have a car i drive i always have but when you're in a city you don't need to drive like why why would you need to drive yeah right? uh, yeah is it you know like i, I live tor in toronto and it's just like our public transportation here is good enough to get me from point a to point b on time most of the time most you know we time. have delays a lot so uh, i'm gonna say like 75 percent of the time um but I yeah, did like that you said good enough. You didn't say good. Good, good enough. enough. <laughs> well, yeah, again. I mean, I've, I've waited for I've waited for a streetcar for up to half an hour before, so I'm gonna say good enough. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much like it's like when you leave your your home and you walk down the street in Toronto and you suddenly see a flooding of people coming out of the station. You're like, oh shit, the line is down, and then you have to start replanning yeah. what you're gonna do. So I get it. I get it. Yeah. Oh man, but uh, in this, of course, you know, you guys are kind of like an ensemble group as the hood who are, you know, mm -hmm. working to uh, help out the people of Sherwood Towers. Uh, and in that, of course, a lot of your scenes are as a group. Was there like the camaraderie that you guys formed to have those characters on set? Did it transfer to offset? Was there a lot of like you guys hanging out outside of the show? Um, yeah, so we, like, outside of set, we're all very close. I would say, like, you know, Nakima plays uh, LJ, where, like, we do have, like, a very much, like, a brother-sister dynamic. Um, Idrissa, who plays Alan, we're, we're very friendly, like, we, we all met, it was really interesting, because the show was shot during COVID, so we didn't get to meet each other until the first day of filming, which is very hard to do, because, like, you know, you're supposed to you know, there's usually chemistry tests, chemistry readings, stuff like that. We didn't get any of that because of COVID. So we all really did meet each other for the first time when we were working already together. And I remember the first scene, it was actually in episode two that we all filmed together. It was uh, Nakeem and uh, Alan and I. We were, one of the first scenes was we were locked in a closet, which we were actually locked in a closet. So, like, that, that that just brought us together instantly. Like, we just, I mean, after, like, if you're locked in a closet together and someone actually smells, I'm not going to say who it was, but someone <laughs> forgot to put their deodorant on, it gets you, it gets you, it brings you close. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, man, now I got to sit there going, was it Nakeem or was it Adressa? Was it yeah, Nakeem? Or... <laughs> I'm not going to, I'm not going to expose who it was, but someone forgot their deodorant. <laughs> but yeah, in that scene, it's like you guys, when you guys busted out of that closet, it was like people coming out of a clown car. I was like, how the hell did you guys fit in that thing? It was I small. Don't know. I honestly do not know how we fit because that, that there was no tricks or anything. That closet was really that small. <laughs> oh my god that's that's crazy but that's, uh, uh, suffering for the art right there that's what that exactly. is exactly <laughs> exactly but yeah you mentioned the, the 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 brother sister relationship on on camera of course much and little john also kind of have that brother sister relationship and much really razzes little john about his crush on robin and everything like that in real life do you do you razz Nakeem the same way about this? Oh, all of the time. I like I tell him I'm gonna beat him up all the time. Like constantly. <laughs> like because like, he's like if you've seen him in person, you know that he's a fairly large guy. Like he's buff, he's built. But like, you know, I just I, I, I mean, come on, like it's the material's right there. Like I I just go for it every time. Uh we really do we like we tease each other a lot. Like it's the dyna that dynamic is real. Like, I don't think we were even acting in our scenes. Like, that's just how we are, like, with each other. <laughs> well, yeah, it's got to, it, like, to your point, like, earlier about how you didn't get a chance to do chemistry tests, you didn't get a chance to meet each other until, the, you know, you're on set. Like, it comes across as, the, you know, like, how close you guys are constantly, mm -hmm. right? Like, it's, you know, that, that friendship that you guys, not everybody who goes onto a set develops that, you know? So it sounds like, Absolutely. you know, from what you're describing, that it's, you know, you, you're really lucky that way. Yeah, and I really do want to, like, thank Nikeem in that way, because, like, Idrissa and I are very, I would say, shy people. Well, not shy, maybe just to ourselves. Like, if we're both alone in the green room waiting for our scene, we're probably both reading or listening to music. Like, we're very, like, we we, we seclude ourselves a little bit, I'd say. So Nikeem really brought us all together, 
because uh you know Drizzy and I are very friendly to each other but I don't if I don't think if Nikeem was there I think we would have been a little more just give each other more space both Nikeem being there he just kind of makes it a very like friendly environment he's always joking around he's he's a great guy so you know as much as I razz on him <laughs> you know he did bring us all together in that sense yeah no that that's very cool now of course you guys play the hood in this who are a group of rappers that rob from people like John Prince to help out the neighborhood and stuff like that. Uh, and in it, you guys are wearing kind of like Halloween costumes to hide your identities. And I remember I talked to director X and he said specifically that Robin and little John had the mass of a Fox and a bear because the, the uh, Disney cartoon of mm -hmm. it being, yeah, your character much has like a deer mask for you what do you think that symbolizes about much you know i'm not sure what it symbolizes just like on paper if i saw it but i do know where the deer comes from where the okay. deer symbolism comes from i think in the original folktale how much the miller's son met robin and her gang was or his gang <laughs> in the original <laughs> tale um he was hunting on land that he wasn't supposed to and he uh shot a deer and he got caught by the uh by the local government or the local lord and then he bust out and it's something along those lines but that's how that's where like the deer connection comes from oh okay okay very yeah. cool nice. very cool yeah see that's the thing much is one of those characters that it's like everybody knows about robin hood and everybody knows about little john right. will scarlet Characters yeah. like that, Alan Adeo, all those characters. Mm. But Much is kind of one of those characters that you, you, you've got the very cool, like, you know, like uh, Robin Hood nerds would be like pushing up their glasses going, well, you know, there's <laughs> Much the Miller's son, you know, you guys don't know about him. And you got yeah. It's, he's, like, he's a little bit of an obscure character, I'd say. Like, I, I have the comics, actually. I have a couple of the, the first few ones. And um, yeah, he's, he, he's in those, uh, though, which I like. Because yeah. uh, um, he's an interesting character because he's not in in the folk tales a lot or in the movies in the in the previous mm -hmm. uh, um, I guess versions of them he's not in them a lot but so it's interesting that they like they really research their 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 shit for this to be honest like there's a lot of like little stuff just little details like even the deer with the mask there's just a lot of stuff that it's like you really gotta you really gotta know you know what I mean <laughs> yeah yeah no that's the thing I noticed that yeah they. Uh... They really, they really dug deep there, Director X and Chris Roberts, really pulling from the lore. And because of that, you know, like, you'd think that with a show like this, that doesn't leave a lot of room for any leeway. But is there any chance, points during the filming that you, playing the character of much, made suggestions? Like, oh, what if we did this? And, or was it very much like a let's stick to everything the way it's set out? Um, so in the beginning, like, uh, when I auditioned, uh, I, I, I sent an audition tape and then I had a meeting with X for uh, the callback that I was going to do the next day, which is another audition in front of the casting director and the director. Um, and during the meeting before the callback, he sent me a list of like characteristics uh, of much. And it was a lot like it, it went into numerology. It went into personality types. It was it was very very in-depth so I tried to stick to you know whatever was there but when we were actually filming um I would say it was very it was very collaborative uh that's how I always felt like I could always go up to Chris and be like hey I think maybe I should say this a bit differently or like this sounds more authentic or um in episode seven a really big fight breaks out between a lot of the characters there's just a lot of tension and stuff and um on the day we actually got Chris to help us rewrite the scene during lunch to add more tension because it just it felt like we got mad everyone got mad too fast and there wasn't mm -hmm. enough interaction so you know it was just really collaborative like even just stuff like that um shows just how everyone like really worked together I think so yeah it was it was it was a very open environment in that sense that's cool yeah for sure that's awesome yeah. You gotta, you gotta love, you gotta love sets that are like that. You know, not, not everybody, yeah. not everybody gets that chance. Right. Absolutely. No, totally. Absolutely. Well, well, I want to thank you for coming on Ksenia. Uh, really, really enjoying what you guys are doing. Really enjoy the, the, the chemistry that you guys have as a group on the show. Like 
I feel like very much like when I watch it, I'm like, those are people I'd like to hang out with, you know? <laughs> so uh, thank you so much for coming on. And I hope that uh, people enjoy the rest of the season of Robin Hood airing right now on Global on Wednesday nights. Hope you have yourself a great night. Oh, thank you so much for having me. All right, have a great night.